All right, this video is on parametrics, but it's specifically converting parametric equations to rectangular equations. So to find the rectangular equation, you eliminate the parameter. So you eliminate t is really what you're going for here. Remember, t is our parameter. So how do we do this? Well, number one, you get t equals on the x equation. So you solve that x equation for t. Then you plug it in for t. You plug in for t on the y equation and then clean it up. So first thing I'm going to do on example one is I'm going to take my x equation I'm going to solve it for t. So x equals 3t minus 3. I'm going to solve it for t by adding 3 to both sides. So I have x plus 3 equals 3t. Then I have to divide each term by 3. So now I have t equals, that's really 1 third x plus 1 because 3 over 3 is 1. Alright, so that's t. Now, to plug it in for t in the y equation, because our rectangular equations are always y equals, we're going to take our y equation and plug in what we got for t. So all of that goes in here, 1 third x plus 1 plus 1. Okay, so I just put that right there. Now I distribute and clean it up. So y equals 2 thirds x, 2 times 1 is 2, plus that outside 1. And then I clean it up, combine like terms. So y equals 2 thirds x plus 3. And there is my rectangular equation. So really, you're going to have two answers. You're going to tell me what t is, and then you're going to tell me what y is once you put it back in. All right, so let's look at example two here. Take the x equation, start there, and solve it for t. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract a 1 from both sides. So x minus 1 equals 5t divide by 5, so that's going to be 1 fifth x minus 1 fifth equals t. Alright, then I plug it into my y equation. y equals 1 fifth x plus, minus 1 fifth plus 1. 1 fifth and 1 are like terms, so I have y equals 1 fifth x minus 1 fifth and then if I rewrite 1 in a fraction, that's really 5 over 5. And then I can combine these. Then I can add these. So I have y equals 1 fifth x. Negative 1 plus 5 is 4 plus 4 over 5. Okay, so you've got to use those fraction rules again. So there's your y equals, and here was my t equals. All right, let's try another one. Start with the x equation. Solve it for t. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So I have x plus 1 equals t. Easy enough. Then I'm going to plug that into my y equations. Square root of 2 times x plus 1. Clean it up. 2x plus 2. There's really nothing more you can do to clean that up. So that's your y equation. That's your rectangular equation. All right, last example. Again, same process. Start with your x equation, solve for t. So I have x equals t minus 1. I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So x plus 1 equals t. That's that part. Now I plug it into the y equation. y equals x plus 1 squared. And you can stop there today with that because it's in rectangular form as long as the t has been removed and you've gotten rid of t once you plugged in. All right, hope that makes some sense and we'll see you in class.